In this episode, we'll be covering for you the full embarkation process here at the Carnival Cruise Board in New Orleans. We're going to give you all the details you need to know. You don't want to miss it. It's all coming up. Okay, the embarkation process here at the Carnival Cruise Board in New Orleans. That's what this episode is about. But listen, if you love cruising, consider subscribing. We give you tips, tours, and money-saving techniques that you don't want to miss. But let's get right into today's episode. For this cruise, we are sailing on the Carnival Glory, and we actually drove down here to the cruise port, and we parked with Maku Pichu's Tours. They have a cruise parking place, and we got a shuttle here to the cruise terminal. But listen, regardless of how you arrive, whether you fly in and take a taxi, whether you drive in and park like us, you're eventually going to end up here at the cruise terminal. Let's talk about everything you need to know for that. The first thing you're going to be doing when you arrive at the cruise terminal is you're going to be getting rid of those bags that you want to check in. Now, you'll keep the carry-on with you. The check bags, they will have porters there available to take those. Now look, it is customary that approximately one dollar per bag you'll give to the porter for a tip. It's not required, but that's just sort of the custom. And then it's time to head inside the cruise terminal. The first thing you're going to need out is that boarding pass. You'll need to show that to enter the cruise terminal. You begin to wind around till you come to your first station. Then at that first station, there are a few documents that you will need. One is you'll need that boarding pass once again, you're wanting to keep that with you pretty much throughout the whole journey till you're on the ship. The other thing you're going to need is your COVID document. So there, you'll need your proof of a COVID vaccination, that vaccination card. That thing's worth a lot of money these days. And then the other thing you'll need is the proof of the negative COVID test. Now here at the New Orleans Cruise Port, they do take Verify. So if you have checked in your COVID documents there through Verify, you can show them that on the app that the passenger is ready to sail and you are good to go. And then what comes next after that station? Well, I'm glad you asked because the next place you come to is security. It is a very simple process. You're not taking off your shoes. You're not taking off your belts. You, if you have any electronics, you'll have to put those in a separate little container to go through. But look, you just run your stuff through the little detector and you're through to the other side. And then next, you come to the station where if you have brought drinks on board with you for example we took two 12 packs of soda they have a place where they inspect those and then you continue on to that next and final station and i would like to add they do inspect them our lady had a little flashlight and she was looking in the holes in our 12 pack to make sure they were in fact soda they were soda right <laughs> yes we were good when you proceed to that next station you come to you're again going to need a few sets of documents you probably guessed it already, but you're going to need that boarding pass for this. And then you also need the travel document. So look, all your COVID stuff, that's good. You can store that away. But for your travel documents, that's talking about either your passport or you'll need a state-issued ID and your birth certificate. You show that stuff, they snap your photo. Be sure to smile big for that. And then you're ready to go into the waiting area until they call for your boarding zone to board the ship. Now. We had a time set up for 10 o'clock, so we didn't have to wait long at all. We were on that ship, and we were with a new cruiser, little Caleb, his very first cruise. This little guy, too excited. Whoa, are you excited? Yes! Look at how big Caleb Look how big it is. Now, after the short little walkway to board the ship, now we have a little tradition we do in our family, and I'm just bringing this before you. and want to know if you have any traditions that you do when you come on board. When we come on board a ship, we like to do a little hop, for that final boarding part onto the ship. We turn, we smile, thumbs up, and good to go. What do you do? Do you just stroll on like you own the ship or do you <laughs> go about another way? I'd love for you to just chime in below and let us know. In this episode, we'll be covering with For the Love. Ooh. That was close. It's gonna storm. <laughs> we gotta talk fast. <laughs> Something about us cruising lately, it's all stormy. What's up? <laughs> okay, listen, really important information. If you love cruising, if you're gonna be selling out of New Orleans, if you are selling with Carnival Cruise Line, in this series of videos, we're gonna be giving you all the tips and the information you need to know to set you up for the perfect cruise. So be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it, and we'll catch you in the next video.